Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making Coca-Cola syrup. Did we figure out the recipe? Yeah. No, we don't know the recipe. <laughs> we don't have the... Uh, we don't know the right people, right? Right. Some guy walking around with the briefcase handcuffed to his wrist. That's <laughs> right. the guy that has the recipe, exactly. right? Exactly. He probably has half of the recipe. Right. Some other guy has the other half. And then they each need to have their key to unlock yeah. each other's handcuffs. Something like that. <laughs> Probably more security around that recipe than like our nuclear weapons, I would think. <laughs> right. So this is essentially we're concentrating Coca-Cola mm -hmm. re by reducing it on the stove. Right. right? To give you a nice, rich Coca-Cola taste to use in cocktails, mm -hmm. such as our Bucking Bronca. That's right. Right. Yeah. We have the more complicated cola syrup, which you can see the recipe of. That's kind of harder to make because you have to get all sorts of products. This is easy because you just boil some Coca-Cola. Right. Well, Mexican Coca-Cola, because that has cane sugar, mm -hmm. right? A little sweeter, brighter taste than the high fructose corn syrup that we get here in our cola in the States. Right. You can find these at your Mexican markets or even our grocery store has them. Oh, yeah. Um, so you want to reduce it to one-sixth the normal volume. Right. Right. Often what we'll do is we'll buy a six-pack. Yeah. And uh, we'll double the recipe and just reduce it down. So you're taking... 72 ounces and reducing it to 12. Yeah. In this case, we're taking 36 ounces total, reducing it to six. Man, your math is very good today. I you know? know, hey? <laughs> yeah, so um, if you do a six pack like we normally do, doubling the recipe, you'll be left with 12 ounces. Mm -hmm. and you can put it right back in the same bottle and cork it, right? Right, exactly. Right. So to make Coca-Cola syrup, you wanna add three bottles of Mexican Coca-Cola that's 12 ounce bottles to a medium sized sauce pot. And you want to bring that to a boil. So we'll turn the heat up to high. You'll see some bubbles right away around the edge of the pan. That's just the carbonation from the soda fleeing the liquid. Once it's boiling, you want to reduce the heat to low and just let it cool down and bubble slightly. You want it to simmer until the volume is reduced to one-sixth. That'll be about 30 minutes. So there's a couple of ways that you can check if you've reduced the soda down enough uh, to six ounces. One way is you could periodically pour uh, the soda into a beaker to check your levels. Or another way to do it is to initially pour six ounces of soda into the saucepan and uh, go ahead and measure it with a skewer. And then just mark or put a little notch with the knife telling you where six ounces is. Pour the rest of the soda into the saucepan, and as you're boiling, periodically check with the skewer to see if it's gotten down to that notch yet. Now that we're down to our reduction of one-sixth, we're gonna turn off the flame and just set this on the counter. You want it to come to room temperature. That's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour. Once we're at room temperature, we're going to just pour that into a beaker that has a pouring spout on it. And then in turn, pour that into a clean glass jar. And that gives us our Coca-Cola syrup. Enjoy. Cheers.